Hey, genuine well wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you and I build out a safe journey in 2022 and subsequent years in spite of the three waves of Corona with the fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline in progress, all variants of cancer classified by WHO, World Health Organization, in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates, besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist come good hearted preacher Professor S. Suresh back with the sheer ecstasy with the curiosity of an infant to learn the unknowns for my 195th video, 195, on Unwill of Publication on YouTube today, 13th November 2022, Sunday. The topic for today is Perils of man Manual Scavenging. I assure you my videos are short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time. As you know, we are mortal, but our videos are immortal. So we live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever, having published 195 videos, including this particular video so far, for the benefit of society that too absolutely free. Scavenging. Clean refuse from, collect discarded material, remove impurities from, especially by a chemical reaction. Manual scavenging is a term used mainly in India for manually cleaning, carrying, disposing of or otherwise handling human excreta in an insanitary latrine or in an open drain or sewer or in a septic tank or a pit. Manual scavengers usually use hand tools such as buckets, brooms and shovels. The workers have to move the excreta using brooms and tin plates into baskets which they carry to disposal locations sometimes several kilometers away. The practice of employing human labor for cleanings of sewers and septic tanks is also prevalent in Bangladesh and Pakistan, all adjoining countries, neighboring countries of India. These sanitation workers called manual scavengers rarely have any personal protective equipment whatsoever. The work is regarded as a dehumanizing practice. The occupation of sanitation work is intrinsically linked with the caste in India. All kinds of cleaning are considered lowly and are assigned to people from the lowest rung of the social hierarchy. In the case of caste-based society, it is mainly the Dalits who work as sanitation workers, as manual scavengers, cleaners or drains of drains as garbage collectors and sweepers of roads. It was estimated in 2019 that between 40 to 60% 60 per, 60 of all the 6 million households of Dalit subcast are engaged in sanitation work in India. I'm talking about India. Okay. I don't need to say every time I'm talking about India. Okay. The most common Dalit caste performing sanitation work is the Valmiki, also known as the Balmiki caste. The term manual scavenging differs from the standalone term scavenging, which is one of the oldest economic activities and refers to the act of sorting through and picking from discarded waste. Scavengers usually collect from the streets, dump sites, or land mills, land mill fills. They collect reusable and recyclable material they can be included, that can be included into the economy's production process. The practice is reported to exist in cities and towns across the global south. The International Labour Organization, shortly ILO, describes three forms of manual scavenging in India. Removal of human excrement from public streets and dry latrines. Meaning simple pit latrines without a water seal but not dry toilets in general. Cleaning septic tanks, cleaning gutters and sewers. Manual scavenging is not only a cash based but also a gender based occupation with 90% of them being women. Households with dry latrines prefer women to clean the excreta instead of men as they are located inside the house. According to Human Rights Watch report on an average women gets paid as little as between Indian rupee 10 and 50, 50 for every month per household. It is much less than the men who earn up to 300 rupees a day for cleaning sewer lines. This is where the irony of Swachh Bharat mission lies. On the one hand, it aims at protecting the dignity of women by providing them with the private sanitation spaces 
but on the other it is perpetuating humiliation of human manual scavengers as they are the ones who clean human excreta from dry pit latrines mostly dry also called as non flush or pit toilets latrines or toilets without neither running water nor proper disposal septic system connected to the human sewer system connected to the common sewer system the construction of the dry toilets and employment of manual scavengers to clean such dry toilets was prohibited in india in 1993 itself as a law the law was extended and clarified to include ban on use of human labor for direct cleaning of sewers ditches pits and septic tanks in 2013 however despite the last manual scavenging was reported in many states including maharashtra gujarat madhya pradesh uttar pradesh and rajasthan in 2014 even tamil nadu for that matter in 2021 the national human rights commission nhrc observed that eradication of manual scavenging as claimed by state and local governments is far from over government data shows that the period 1993 to 2021 971 people died due to cleaning of sewers and septic tanks this is under reported actually actual count should be much more than that i am sure of that last to eradicate manual scavenging in india in the late 1950s freedom fighter gs lakshman iyer banned manual scavenging when he was a chairman of gopichetti palayam municipality in tamil nadu which became the first local body to ban it officially sanitation is a state subject subject as per entry and of the constitution under this in february 2013 delhi announced that they were banning manual scavenging making, making the first state in india to do so district magistrates are responsible for ensuring that there are no manual scavengers working in that district i am talking about the laws within 3 years of the ruling municipalities railways and cantonments were required to make sufficient sanitary latrines available the broad objectives of the act are to eliminate unsanitary latrines prohibit the employment of manual scavengers and the hazardous material manual cleaning of sewer and septic tanks and to maintain a survey of manual scavengers and the rehabilitation the continuance of such discriminatory practice is violation of ilo's convention 3 discrimination in employment and occupation the united nations human rights chief welcomed in 2013 the movement in india to eradicate manual scavenging in 2007 the self employment scheme for rehabilitation of manual scavengers was passed to help in transition to other occupations after six states passed resolutions requesting the central government to frame a law the employment of manual scavengers and construction of dry latrines prohibition act 1993 drafted by the ministry of urban development under the narasimha rao government was passed in parliament in 1993 the act punishes the employment of scavengers or the construction of dry non flush latrines with uh, imprisonment of for up to 1 year and or a fine of indian rupee 2000 prohibition of employment as manual scavengers and the rehabilitation amendment bill 2020 calls for a complete mechanization of cleaning sewers and septic tanks no convictions were obtained under the law during the 20 years more than 20 years actually it was in force now it is 2022 the bill was passed in 1993 yeah roughly yeah it's nearly 29 years not uh, 20 years so let me change it as 20 years activism against manual scavenging in india in 1970s 9, 1970 Bindeshwar Pathak introduced the Islamabad concept for building and managing public toilets in India which has introduced hygienic and well maintained public toilet system. Sulab 
So where are those relapse now? Okay. It disappeared. Activist Beswala Wilson founded a group in 1994, Safai, Karmachari, Andolan, to campaign for the demolition of then newly illegal dry trains, pit ride trains, and the abolition of manual scavenging. The movement of scavenger for scavenger community, shortly MSC, is an NGO, non governmental organization, founded in 2009 by Vimal Kumar with young people, social activists, and like minded people from the scavenger community. MSC is committed to working towards the social and economic empowerment of scavenger community through the medium of education. The campaign for dignity, Garima Abhiyan in Madhya Pradesh in India has assisted more than 20,000 women to stop doing manual scavenging as an occupation. Pragya Akilesh he is called the Toilet Woman of Delhi. She is a trade unionist and activist and a theatre director. Since 2010, she has highlighted the government's failure to recognize the labor movement of sanitation workers and the failure to eradicate and rehabilitate manual scavengers in India. In spite of these laws and efforts of activists and to eradicate manual scavenging, it is still prevalent in India in real life, even in major towns. Like Chennai, unscrupulous contractors exploit the downtrodden and force them to perform these inhuman acts. Governments are also full of corrupt bureaucrats governed by rotten, dirty, dirty scoundrels in disguise as ministers, MLAs, MPs. Judicial system is not blind, deaf or dumb. He is not taking any stringent action to punish these perpetrators. Adverse consequences of manual scavenging, people die prematurely. They are subjected to short-term and long-term health effects like skin diseases besides other infections. God alone knows the kinds of viruses in these sewers, excreta, silt, effluents, etc. They suffocated death inhaling poisonous gases inside these sewers. They don't have any protection equipment. It is certainly an inhuman hack when one person cleans the excreta of another person or the silt in sewers and sewer disposal streams like Kuwam in Chennai. Mechanization of scavenging. There are reportedly about 15 innovations. One five, it should be much more than that, developed across India to replace manual scavenging. According to reports, the Hyderabad Metropolitan Water Supply and Sewerage Board is using 70 70 mini jetting machines that can access narrow lanes and smaller colonies to clear the choked pi sewer pipes. In Thiruvandabram, Trivandrum, a group of engineers has designed a spider shaped robot that cleans manholes and sewers with the precision. Dry, dry lighting should be done away with once and for all. Manual scavengers should be provided alternate jobs, rehabilitation, by reorienting re them um, with the skills through which they can make a decent living. Community toilets are provided in major towns, at least to a certain extent. These should be extended to all villages in India. These community toilets, community toilets should be maintained by governments or by private organizations, but should, it should be a free service for the people. Think of people living on the streets, swamps, etc. without these basic facilities. No decent human being likes to defecate or urinate in the open, but they are forced to for lack of requisite free facilities. Women who defecate or urinate in the open are subjected to sexual harassment, including rapes. We should be ashamed to say that we are living in the 21st century called Space Age without even providing basic facilities for the downtrodden or innovating mach machines for demeaning acts. like uh, manual scavenging. Debates, discussion on open air topics like this can go on forever. And you let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements we use express our solely mind based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience. Always watch these videos with closed caption, subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation zillion times over. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. This time limit is self-imposed to date and the viewer's attention as well. Now, today I must have taken hardly about 14-15 minutes. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing. Attribute to the pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural uneven or unnatural events like bio war and cyber war. 
including pandemics and epidemics which ultimately pays a way for apocalypse, apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of those, rest in peace and harmony.